Welcome you beautiful people. I know it's been a few weeks since the last video, actually over a month, and you might be asking, hey bad, where's the videos at ma'am? Well, theoretical viewer, the short answer is, fuck. So after that nightmare, I'm back and read a record of the new map and, uh, oh God, what the fuck is this? Yes, the new Pacific map for Warzone launched. It's beautiful and wonderfully designed, but holy shit. The community took to this the way I took to my school ball. They spent their time hiding away. Ghosts, cold-blooded, hide in the bush or camp a loadout. Or flying a plane with machine guns that are in no way out of place in a battle royale. Not at all. On top of that, performance issues, crashing, broken visuals, horrific audio, and this goddamn Christmas event. Seriously, Krampus, piss off. Finally seeing Verdansk off, I was excited. I love my time there, and Verdansk is genuinely in my top three Battle Royale maps. But after playing since launch, I and many other players were ready for a change in scenery. Introducing Caldera, an island paradise featuring the sights of resorts, palm trees, scattered villages and military compounds, palm trees, Mount Doom, ancient ruins, did I mention palm trees? Plus the anti-cheat ricochet, it all looks so promising. But my excitement wore off quickly. As you should know from the videos I released, I love solos. It's a mode where all the responsibility to win falls on you. No teammates to carry you to a victory. All you. But solos are horrific in Kaldera. Since foliage is everywhere, many players tend to hide beneath the bushes until either they die or the gas pushes them out. Not to mention with the change to the loadouts and being unable to purchase them until the first loadout drops, players tend to rush to the free loadout or nearby buy stations and camp it to land some easy kills. I know the goal of a battle royale is to be the last man standing, but this is endlessly frustrating when you're on a 12 kill roll only to die because little Timmy is hiding under a bush with a shotgun. And that's not even mentioning the issues with planes auto pinging players through foliage, snipers handling like a whale being towed by a forklift, inaudible footsteps, excessive overhead noise, guns that kill faster than I finish in the bedroom. Wait, what? Or that there hasn't been any rebalancing of perks. In the end, I want to keep making content for Warzone. I want to just enjoy the game, I want to have fun, not even as a content creator, but just as a player. But frankly, I'm bored. I'm so very bored of Caldera, and it's mostly because of how the majority of the community plays it. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I want every single player to be a TTV non-stop slight cancelling hopped up on G Fuel screaming LET'S GO every time they get a kill type of player. That's not fun either, that's exhausting. I just want to be able to move more than 5 feet without having my ears destroyed by a plane going overhead, shot from a player hiding in the bush with cold blooded so it doesn't even ping high alert, or die fast enough the US military get jealous of their capabilities. Or you know, have the game crash constantly. So yeah, I haven't released any videos in a month because, well, aside from the PC troubles, I'm just not enjoying Warzone, even in my free time. So I guess I'm gonna look into other games unless things change, but I'm gonna be real? I don't think so. I hate to be a doomsday, and I know many creators have made videos on Warzone is dying, and I hate to be another brick in the wall. But for me personally, the problems with Warzone completely outweigh the fun. Most of my friends have stopped playing it and have gone on to other alternatives. I'm not saying I'm completely done with Warzone. Who knows, maybe I'll release this video and next week they put out a super ultra best patch ever that fixes the problems Jesus comes back to life and a pot of gold forms under a rainbow. But to be the cynic, I just think the game is going to keep sliding down the slope it has for months. And I no longer enjoy anything other than Rebirth. Anyways, that's the update. I genuinely appreciate every single person who have taken their time out of the last year to watch my content. It's been phenomenal, and I am absolutely wanting to get more videos out. But I want to be genuine. I don't want to fake my enjoyment like a porn star, because that doesn't make for good content. At least, for me, that is. Anyways, thank you. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals.